Welcome to our channel. Today we're diving into the world of arachnids to uncover the most dangerous spiders on the planet. These eight-legged creatures, often misunderstood and feared, play a crucial role in the delicate balance of nature. However, some species possess venom so potent that it demands our respect and caution. Join me as we journey across continents to encounter these formidable creatures. Stay tuned to find out which spiders you should definitely avoid. Our first encounter brings us face to face with the Brazilian wandering spider, a creature whose reputation for danger precedes it. Found in the tropical regions of South America, this spider doesn't spin a web and wait for its prey. Instead, it actively roams the forest floor, hence its name. The Brazilian wandering spider is often found seeking shelter in houses, hiding in dark corners, shoes, or even amongst bunches of bananas. Its venom is a complex cocktail of toxins, some of the most potent among spiders. A bite from this arachnid can be incredibly painful, causing not only intense local pain and swelling, but also systemic effects. These can range from irregular heartbeats and muscle spasms to, in severe cases, paralysis and respiratory failure. It will rear up on its hind legs, displaying its impressive fangs in a defensive posture, ready to strike with lightning speed. By understanding its habits and respecting its space, we can appreciate the crucial role this predator plays in its ecosystem without incident. Our journey takes us now to the southeastern coast of Australia, home to the Sydney funnel web spider. This creature, with its glossy black carapace and powerful legs, is not a spider to be trifled with. Its name comes from the distinctive funnel-shaped webs it constructs to trap unsuspecting prey. What makes the Sydney funnel web spider so dangerous is not just the potency of its venom, but also its large fangs and aggressive nature. The venom, particularly potent in males, contains a neurotoxin that attacks the nervous system, leading to a cascade of potentially life-threatening symptoms. Muscle spasms, paralysis, difficulty breathing and even death can occur if left untreated. However, thanks to the development of an antivenom in 1981, there have been no recorded fatalities from Sydney funnel web bites since. Understanding its habits and treating it with caution is key to coexisting with this remarkable and potentially dangerous creature. Few spiders are as instantly recognizable as the Black Widow, a creature whose notoriety extends far beyond its native North America. Its shiny black body, marked with the iconic red hourglass on its abdomen, serves as a stark warning of the danger it possesses. Black widows are masters of deception, spinning irregular webs in dark, secluded places, often near human dwellings. They are not aggressive spiders, preferring to flee rather than fight. However, when threatened or more often accidentally disturbed, they will defend themselves with a venomous bite. The venom of the black widow is a neurotoxin, 15 times stronger than that of a rattlesnake. It attacks the nervous system, causing excruciating pain, muscle cramps, and rigidity. While fatalities from black widow bites are rare, especially with prompt medical attention, the experience is known to be incredibly painful and debilitating. Understanding its habits and taking precautions, such as wearing gloves when working in areas where black widows may reside, can help prevent unwanted encounters. Our exploration of dangerous spiders takes us to the Midwestern and Southern United States, home to the brown recluse spider. Identified by the violin-shaped marking on its cephalothorax, it prefers dark, secluded areas like woodpiles, closets and attics. The brown recluse is a hunter, venturing out at night. Its bite is often painless initially, but the venom soon begins its work. It leads to necrosis, causing significant tissue damage. Seek immediate medical attention if bitten. Shake out shoes and clothing, seal cracks in homes, and be cautious in areas where these spiders may reside. Our journey takes us to the arid deserts of southern Africa, ruled by the master of camouflage, the six-eyed sand spider. With its flattened body and cryptic coloration, it blends seamlessly with the sand. An ambush predator, it buries itself in the sand, waiting for prey. Its venom is a potent hematoxin, causing tissue damage. Encounters with humans are rare due to its remote habitat. We return to Australia, a continent teeming with unique and often deadly creatures, to encounter a close relative of the Black Widow, the Redback Spider. 
This spider, easily identified by the prominent red stripe on its glossy black abdomen, is a common sight in urban areas, often found lurking in sheds, mailboxes and under rocks. Like its cousin, the black widow, the redback spider is not aggressive and prefers to avoid confrontation. However, when threatened or, more often, accidentally disturbed, it will defend itself with a venomous bite. The venom of the redback spider is a neurotoxin similar to that of the black widow, but generally considered less potent. However, it can still cause significant pain, sweating, muscle weakness and nausea. Fortunately, an effective antivenom for redback spider bites is readily available, and fatalities are extremely rare. Wearing gloves when working outdoors, checking shoes and clothing before putting them on, and being cautious in areas where these spiders are known to reside can significantly reduce the risk of an encounter. Our journey takes us to the mountainous regions of South America, home to the Chilean recluse spider, which prefers dark, undisturbed areas often found in wood piles, attics and sheds. The Chilean recluse spider is not aggressive but may bite defensively. Its venom is necrotic, causing cell and tissue death. Seek immediate medical attention if bitten. Our exploration of dangerous spiders takes us now to a creature found on every continent except Antarctica, the wolf spider. These spiders, named for their hunting prowess and wolf-like appearance, are solitary creatures preferring to roam alone in search of prey. Unlike many spiders that rely on webs to capture their meals, wolf spiders are active hunters, chasing down their prey with impressive speed and agility. While wolf spiders are not considered as dangerous as some of the other spiders we've encountered, their bite can still be painful and cause localized reactions. Their venom, while not lethal to humans, can cause pain, swelling and itching at the bite site. It's important to remember that wolf spiders are generally more afraid of us than we are of them. They play a vital role in their ecosystems, and understanding their habits and respecting their space is the best way to coexist peacefully. Our journey returns to Australia, a land known for its diverse and often deadly wildlife to encounter the mouse spider. These spiders, named for their perceived resemblance to mice, are often found in burrows, under logs and in gardens where they patiently wait for unsuspecting prey to wander by. Mouse spiders are robust creatures with large fangs and a powerful venom that contains a cocktail of toxins similar to that of the Sydney funnel web spider. While they are not as aggressive as funnel webs, their bite can still be dangerous, especially to young children and the elderly. The venom of the mouse spider is a neurotoxin, meaning it attacks the nervous system, potentially causing muscle weakness, paralysis and difficulty breathing. Fortunately, an antivenom for funnel web spider venom is also effective against mouse spider venom, making treatment more readily available. Wearing gloves when gardening, checking shoes and clothing before putting them on, and being cautious when working in areas where these spiders may reside can significantly reduce the risk of an encounter. Our final encounter brings us to a spider found in homes around the world, the yellow sack spider. These small, pale spiders are named for the silken sacks they spin to rest in during the day. They are nocturnal hunters, emerging at night to search for prey, often venturing indoors in search of food and shelter. While yellow sack spiders are not considered as dangerous as some of the other spiders we've encountered, their bite can still be painful and cause localized reactions. Their venom contains cytotoxins, which can cause redness, swelling and itching at the bite site. Yellow sack spiders are not aggressive and will only bite if they feel threatened or trapped. To prevent encounters, it's important to keep living spaces clean and free of clutter, seal cracks and crevices where spiders may enter and shake out clothing and shoes before putting them on. By understanding their habits and taking precautions, we can appreciate their important role in the ecosystem while minimizing the risk of unwanted encounters. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe for more fascinating content about the natural world. Stay safe and see you next time. The spiders we've encountered, while potentially dangerous, are also vital members of their ecosystems, playing crucial roles in maintaining balance. By understanding their habits, respecting their space and taking simple precautions, we can coexist with these fascinating creatures without incident. Remember, knowledge is our greatest defense, and with it we can appreciate the wonders of the natural world, even the eight-legged ones.